Welcome to my channel, Job Boyet. In this channel, mainly we are sharing technical information and technical knowledge na malaking tulong para sa ating mga kapo marino. We'll be sharing the simple formula or calculation on how to properly or paano malalaman yung tamang uh, uh, pressure ng nitrogen gas sa loob ng accumulator natin. Salamat sa patuloy ng sumusubaybay sa mga ginagawa nating videos. At kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ito, please don't forget to subscribe para updated ka sa mga parating pa nating videos. Okay, in this video, I'll be sharing about the measurement of nitrogen gas sa accumulator ng main engine natin. Either sa HCU siya or sa HPS. But before going to the measurement, kasi I'll be sharing the simple formula or calculation on how to properly or paano malalaman yung tamang uh, a pressure ng nitrogen gas sa loob ng accumulator natin. But before going to the calculation na share ko, let me first uh, share the importance of the nitrogen gas no, sa accumulator natin. Kasi the nitrogen plays a vital role uh, para mag-function ng tama yung accumulator natin. Okay. Yung nitrogen gas, uh, it keeps the hydraulic oil pressurized. Okay. Itinutulak ng nitrogen gas yung membrane natin, yung bladder, uh, sa other side niya kasi is the hydraulic oil, right? Itinutulak niya yun to keep the pressure steady. And also to prevent the uh, fluctuation of the hydraulic oil or the hydraulic pressure or to prevent yung tinatawag natin peak pressure. Kapag mataas yung tinatawag na peak pressure or yung fluctuation natin, it could damage the engine or the associated parts of the accumulator. It is therefore na uh, the regular checking or measurement of the nitrogen gas is very important. Actually, in the manual, there's a certain interval of measurement, no? Okay, but in 2019, the Man Energy Solution naglabas na recommendation na mula sa 6 months, so isinyorte nila to minimum 1 month. It's because of their uh, experiences, no? Even as in our company, we had an experience na yung accumulator, sa kapal na accumulator na yun, no? Napunit pa. One of the cause is the yung fluctuation ng uh, hydraulic oil pressure. Actually, maganda yung recommendation ng man no, to measure every every month. But also, mayroong mga tinatawag natin uh, advantage at disadvantages. One of the disadvantages, to, among among the disadvantages is yung kung yung crew natin is hindi familiar or hindi will verse in how to measure yung nitrogen gas pressure na accumulator natin, uh, pwedeng mag-leak siya, no? pwedeng maubos o mawala yung uh, nitrogen gas natin. Paano kung kukunti na lang? No? The measurement also depends on the actual observation of the crew. Depending do sa performance ng bawat silindro, let's say have some problem or unusual or tinatawag nating abnormalities related sa accumulator. Okay, that's a time na pwede nating ipa-measure agad. Yung measurement ng nitrogen gas sa accumulator natin is really quite easy. Just simply carefully follow kung ano yung nakasulat sa instruction manual. But the most common concern na mga kasama natin is hindi yung kung paano yung measure. Kundi ang tanong nila, sir, tama ba yung measurement namin? Uh, paano ba namin malaman kung tama ba to, hindi ba to kulang, hindi ba to labis, kailangan ba namin mag-recharge, o kailan kami dapat mag-recharge? Okay, those questions sasagutin po natin in this video. And I'll be sharing the simple formula and calculation para convincing. Mainly, we are checking kung tama yun na measure natin pressure or kung kailangan natin mag-top up o mag-recharge is through the pressure adjustment table accumulator temperature based on the manual. Uh, meron tayong range na plus minus 0 0.5 MPa. The minimum is minus uh, 0.5 MPa and the maximum is the plus 0 0.5 MPa. On the left side of the table, ito yung uh, temperatura ng accumulator, the measured temperature. And the right side of the column or yung right column, it is the corresponding uh, nitrogen gas pressure. Okay. Napapansin nyo ba na uh, itong mga temperatura is puro a uh, cool number. Cool number siya 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So, bawat temperatura nakasulat sa table, it has the corresponding pressure. But the question is, paano kung na-measure natin na temperatura, let's say, is 27.8? 27.9 or 35.2, 31.8, okay. Eh, wala naman dito. Wala naman sa table. Okay. In this simple formula and calculation, isi-share ko sa inyo, 
Uh, malalaman natin kung tama ba yung pressure. No need this table. Just use this simple calculation. After the preparation ng uh, measurement natin, let's say nakapag-release uh, ka ng pressure, you connect all the fittings, everything. Then, first thing you have to do is to check the pressure of the accumulator. Okay. Then, you have also to check the temperature of the accumulator. Ngayon, yung iba, gumagamit sila ng engine room temperature which is actually wrong. You have to check, gamitin natin yung accumulator temperature. Mainly, we are using the infrared thermometer. Pero kung wala kang infrared thermometer, pwede kang gumamit ng ordinaryong thermometer. I-attach mo directly dun sa accumulator natin. And after, maybe after a few minutes, may kita mo na yung tamang temperatura. And that temperature, yun yung gagamitin natin to calculate kung ano yung tamang corresponding pressure. So let's start the calculation para malaman natin kung tama nga ba yung ginagawa natin. Tama nga ba yung measure natin? Hindi ba labis? Hindi ba kulang? Kailangan, kailangan na ba natin magtapo kung hindi pa? Okay, using, by using this simple formula in calculation, madali natin malalaman. And kapag nalaman mo to hindi ka natitingin sa pressure uh, adjustment table. Okay, gamit mo na lang ito. So, the formula is accumulator temperature times 0.06 MPa plus 12.4 MPa. Maaaring ang tanong na ilan agad, no? Sir, saan naman galing yung 12.4 MPa? Okay. Uh, based sa table, kung titignan natin, no, the 12.4 MPa, this is the equivalent pressure of 0 degrees. No? The equivalent radian pressure at 0 degrees. Eh, saan naman nagaling yung 0 0.06 MPa? Okay. Ito naman yung equivalent ng um, equivalent pressure, its degree. No, its degree, bawat temperatura. Paano nangyari yun? Okay. Looking at the table, at 0 degrees Celsius, the pressure is at 12.4 MPa. That while sa 10 degrees Celsius, the pressure is 13.0 MPa. Okay. 13.0 minus 12.4 uh, is equal to uh, 0 0.6 MPa divided by 10. Bakit divided by 10? Kasi 10 degrees, no? 0 from 10. Divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.06 MPa. So, doon pala nakuha yung 0 point, uh, 0 0.06 MPa equivalent to each degree ng temperatura. So, umpisa natin. Gamitin natin itong formula to kung tama nga ba, no? Para ma-double check natin. In this photo, may kita natin na nakakuha ng temperatura na 35.7 degrees Celsius at nakakuha din siya ng pressure na 14.52 MPa. So, tingnan natin kung tama nga ba yung nakuha niya. Kailangan ba siya mag-top up o mag-recharge o kailangan ba siya magbawas or steady lang. Okay, by using the formula na sinabi ko kanina, so let's start the calculation. Okay, accumulator temperature is 35.7 times 0 0.06 MPa is equal to 2.14 MPa. 2.14 MPa plus 12.4 MPa is equal to 14.54 MPa. Ang nakuha sa picture is 14.52. Still within the range, right? Still within the range. As per manual, no, uh, should be within plus minus 0 0.5 MPa. Pag sinabi nating a uh, minus 0 0.5, ililess mo lang yun eh. Uh, 14.54 minus 0 0.5 MPa. That is the minimum. And the maximum is, is uh, 14.54 plus 0 0.5 MPa. So, in this picture, no, uh, ang maximum niya pala is uh, 15.04 and minimum niya is 14.04. So, ito yung, ito yung tinatawag na pressure range. Should be within. Kapag mababa ka na sa 14.04, kailangan mo na mag-recharge o mag-top up. Pero kapag nakamissure ka ng labis pa rito, oy, something wrong, kailangan mo magbawas. Okay. Double checking tayo. Baka sabihin nyo, tsumamba lang ako. Sige, gamitin natin sa table mismo. Okay. Uh, at 30 degrees Celsius, okay, 30 degrees Celsius tayo ha. Halimbawa, nakakuha ka ng temperatura na 30 degrees Celsius. Gamitin natin mismo yung sa table. Just to double check. 30 times 0 0.06 MPa 
is equal to 1.8 MPa. 1.8 a 1.8 MPa plus 12.4 is equal to 14.2. Uy, pareho. Meaning to say, tama yung formula natin. Tama yung calculation natin. So ngayon, madali mo nang malalaman. Hindi, hindi mo na kailangan magdala ng kanong table sa tabi ng makina. What you need to do is just bring your uh, mobile phone or calculator. No? Kapag measure mo yung, kan, yung uh, nitrogen gas, nakuha mo yung temperatura, kampitin mo na agad. And malalaman mo na kung ano yung tamang pressure. Kailangan ba siya mag-top up o kailangan mag-recharge or steady lang. Hope you find this video useful at sabi pang mga videos na katulad nito, just visit my YouTube channel, Chef Boyet. And surely maraming po tayong matutunan dito. Again, thank you for watching, Chef Boyet. Good day and God bless us all.